can you speak a bit about your relationship to fire and your tradition, how you're, how you integrate it into your life, how indigenous people have used fire? Oh boy. Why it's important. Fire was pretty important to our people, that's for sure. It was quite a change. I was born in a log house. We had a, a wood firing stove and a little heater to keep warm. And so fire was used for many different things, not only for cooking, not only to keep the house warm, but also to clear, to clear uh, things away too. Uh, when you clear a piece of land and you set fire to it, our people used to do that. They set fire to the to the sides of the hills, and new growth comes up. Oh boy, they produce lots of things. Wild turnips, uh, down in the valley there's sweet grass. And uh, so fire rejuvenates the land. They, the people know when to set the fire. And they make prayers and they say, we want, we want these things to be, to be good. When we said that, I remember one time we, we, uh, there was this big piece of land and for somehow the lightning came and struck, struck that piece of land and they burnt, burnt a, a, a big area. And then the next year there's new growth coming up. And boy, the moose liked it. Oh, they all gathered in there. They were eating up all that new stuff coming up. But they really liked it. Of course, they moved to another place where there was another cleansing. And it's, that's what it does, that fire. It cleanses and it, uh, it rejuvenates. So they, they work together. They're, they're not uh, separate. They, they, they know how to do things to look after land. And uh, we try to learn from that. So that's what uh, fire, fire does. I remember I worked for the government. And uh, when you work for the government, there's some kind of a requirement where you have to learn how to, I think, uh, CPR, I think it's called. I don't know what that stands for, but anyway. Uh, they also said, you have to take a fire training. Okay. So the day came, and there's uh, 20 of us sitting in, in the fire instructor was standing up there. And, and so she says, okay, we're going to start off this morning by talking about your experience with fire. So it went around, on, way around. Of course, I'm on the last one sitting on the other side. And people were saying, yeah, I... My house burnt down, and the other one said, I lost a friend through fire and all. And when my time came, I said, uh, I had really lots of good experience. I made lots of fire. I said, I really had lots of good experience for fire. With fire, I said, <laughs> I, I found that to be funny, but it was true. We never had uh, a fire in the house, or we never had uh, anything burned down, or anything like that. And uh, our people said that about fire. They said that about the wind. They said that about the water. They said that about Mother Earth. You treat you treat them good, and they'll they'll come back. They'll they'll pay you back. So we had. Uh, no drownings. You know, we, when the floods came, we, we were far enough away that we were spared from the floods and stuff. So yeah, it's good to, to learn about those laws. There, there's laws about that. So, yeah, so the, the fire. And then, then I find out people all over are learning about this these natural things. And then somebody called me and said, would you, would you like to learn something about the fire, Sacred Fire Foundation? And I'm thinking, yeah, sacred. It is sacred. That fire is sacred. And yeah, it would be good to learn how to look after the fire because that's one of our bases of living and 
In fact, that's a, that's a basis of survival in, in lots of cases. So uh, I, I look at, at that as, a, as a something sacred. And uh, the instructions about that comes from up there. So when I was given something, information about the Sacred Fire Foundation, I, I accepted to come and share some words about what, uh, what I understand. And, uh, and I like the, 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 the work of Sacred Fire Foundation and, and the concept, what, what it's trying to do. This sharing business is pretty important. And uh, to use uh, fire, and now we're, when we have fire, we use medicine with the fire, all kinds of stuff like that. So it's good that we would, uh, everybody would have a chance to learn about fire, because uh, it 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 helps people. Uh, this awareness of us, first inside here, and then the connection out there. I, I always said that. Look after yourself first in here. Make sure everything is good in here. That way you can connect to your brother, your sister, your fry bread, your your moose, your whatever. You, you're able to connect real good. I, I've always said that. So, and it. Uh, I noticed that it that it that works. So when I see last night we sat by the fire here and I see the sacredness of that fire and I seen a whole bunch of people coming through here. And that must have been a long time ago that people came through here. They were just passing by. They were, they came right through here and they went in spirit form of course. That's what I experienced. So I knew how how sacred uh, those people, how they looked after the fire. I know how sacred it was that they they also have great respect for the for the fire and and therefore for the foundation. So it's good. That that's kind of why I agreed to come and share some words. <laughs>